Okay, people, it's 20 to 11 on Wednesday. Yeah, it's sunny and 15 degrees, but the black flies are here, so I got to wear my bug hood. Yeah, we're going to go down to our park that has just reopened a few days ago. Yep, just going down the driveway here. See if we can see anything interesting. A little Canada flag. Okay, that way there is where we went to the swinging bridge. This way we're going to go to the park. I'll pause you. Yeah, this is what I'm going to have to wear all the rest of spring and summer and fall. Because pretty soon it'll be mosquitoes and they're even worse. Well, I don't know how worse they are, but I don't know if you can see the black flies swarming around my head or not, but Anyway, I got about those big dump trucks and the exhaust. Oh man. Don't you love the shadows? It looks like I got cat ears. <laughs> First time I walked since I walked back in the woods that day to meet up with Richard Cutting Wood. I don't know if you can see them swarming around me or not, but. I hope you can. Yeah. Okay, so there's the road there, and here's the, the road into the park. It's only a short little park. A couple minutes to walk through it, but... When I first started walking, there used to be deer over there across. A few mornings I saw one over there, but there's none there now. Here we are here. Oh, here's a branch. Like that. They came in here and cleaned up the branches and the pine spills. There we are there. Our little park. We got dandelions in here and garbage. Garbage system, recyclables, organics, garbage, no household waste, smile for the camera, lol, there it is there on the tree, solar paneled, and we have this here, tells different things uh, around. Oh, here's Lewis Head Beach. That's where I'm going to go and ride my bike up this road here to the end of the beach. And this last year is where I we, we would come here and I would run over to there. And this here is right here in our community. Yeah, there's the swinging bridge up there that they're working on. Yeah. Okay, drive to Little Harbor, and uh, Little Harbor is where I grew up. My dad was born there. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. What's that say? Canadian astronaut. Originally born in Iceland, lived and went to school in Rockland. 
His father came to this area to work at National Sea Products. That's where I worked from 72 to 89 when it closed up. Yeah, but I didn't know that little bit of information. Rockland, my daughter, lives there now. It's just 14, 15 minutes from here. Okay, so you got the water over there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six picnic tables in here. Two wells, but neither one of them have water. You can't use the water. What does this say on this? Oh, fire's prohibited, yeah. I used to ride through here on my bikes, my bicycle, and I would stop at this picnic table here and have a rest. I got it right in the middle of the little road there. Oh, there's a bird in the tree. I haven't seen any ducks today. Those toilets have been boarded up for a few years. Yeah, and there's the another picnic table. Yeah, okay, I might as well just go up as far as the number six bridge here and and, uh, and I'll turn back. Maybe I'll go in and split some kindling on my way back home. Yeah, up there, just up there. Yeah, there's the hole where the turtle. I always see the turtle eggs. I never see a turtle, but... I always pretend that's my hippopotamus. Ah. Here's the number six bridge. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to tell which way the tide's going. Maybe it's at a standstill for the hour. I'm just gonna walk up to the end of this. Where are these pine needles ever dry? Wouldn't be good if there was a forest fire. Yeah, the sun's on my back. It's too hot. I'm going to head back home, cross the road, and head back home and do some kindling. Yeah, I'll be out of the heat. And then I can close the, the door if the bugs come after me. There's the water. <sighs> Trickling out. It might be getting starting to... I mean, I don't know. Anyway. I only started walking a year ago, April. Yeah, because I was nearly bed bound there and I just started out by laying on the bed, moving my arms and legs until I got strong enough to go out in the yard and take a few steps. and. The next day I would take a few more steps until I was walking around the yard a couple times and then I would start out on the road just a couple of minutes and back and keep adding to it every day and until after a year I can walk 55 minutes without stopping. We're going back into the park because this way if any of those big trucks go by me then I don't have to be exposed to the exhaust of them because they're really bad. Yeah, they're really bad on my environmental illness. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute here. Oh, there's another sign there. Picnic park closed at dusk. I'll just kind of... So this is probably speed walk to some people, but it's like a little jog to me. So, anyway, just for a minute, a nice shady spot. Oh, lovely. Uh, I only got to walk up there, but it's about probably four minutes. There's those old cat and nine tails. I don't know what they're really called. Does anybody know? They're all fuzzy. The deer track. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to walk up the side of the road. 
Oh yeah, we got a a letter from the email from the Nova Scotia Power. They're going to start reading meters again. They're going to be dressed appropriately and homeowners are to stay. They're social distancing. There's, we're never in the yard when they come, but anyway, we would do that anyway. Across the street here to mom and dad's place where it all happens. It's the happening place. There's our home over there. My water. That was 10 minutes long, so start a new one. Fresh bottle up. Water. It doesn't make a noise like his thing does. Thirsty. Oopsie. I have a hole. After my walk, I went in and I split the kindling. Wheeled it over by the doorway. I forgot to wear my work boots. Thank mm -hmm. you.